I have brain damage. Oh no, wait, I'm just playing Hearts of Iron 4. Well, in that case, let's just continue moving on. Today, we have a very special game ahead of us. Even now, I am not sure that this will work. I'm going into this game knowing or expecting me to fail because we will turn Germany into the strongest nation it can be. And by 1939, we will switch over to the Soviets and see if we can defeat the Axis that we just created. We are going to to expand until 1939 which also means for once the AI will have proper division templates and I will have very little time to actually prepare especially since you know the Soviet focus tree I'm going into this fully expecting that I won't have any third year plans I will have I'll be like halfway done with the Trotsky Center I won't have any Air Force I won't have any military the worst part is if i do play correctly which i kind of am planning on we are going to kill the allies very quickly now we don't have any rubber so we can just destroy all of this stuff we only need guns as germany for now five speed let's go oh wait i am missing one thing cancel the tungsten local police force Let's see. Yeah, let's get Otterkey and the Göbingwerke and such. Justify on the Dutch East Indies. Yeah, don't worry. I will pull the Dutch back into the German sphere of influence. Then let's get Halder. There we go. The best garrison template that you will ever be able to can. No, we cannot get War Icon yet, but we can get Kessel again just to get our air XP going. And then with the KDF Wagen, we're gonna get the research slot. Yeah, we'll skip Rhineland, honestly. Now, interesting, we do have most of the things that I honestly want. Oh, logistics, we definitely need to get logistics if we are to invade the Soviet Union. When are we going? 30 days, okay. We're gonna declare war on the Netherlands for more war, war tension? War tension? Yes, indeed. Force attack, honestly. It's a Dutch, what are they gonna do? They couldn't even defend if they tried. The way I said that, I think I just invoked the spirit of my grandfather. The East Indies, I think we are just gonna puppet and get resource rights. This way, the AI has... We have 577 rubber until 1942. That's definitely more than the AI will need. We can also prepare a naval invasion into Newcastle as always at 1RT here. Support AA, get bold attack. I'm gonna bank the PP because as soon as we Anschluss, we'll get more war support and then we can jump to war economy. In the meantime, I can take a drink. Sometimes I do wonder where it all went wrong. It should not be a problem because this is the AI and we just did this and we should go. Yep, there we go, we're going. Nobody's in the UK, as always, very glad to hear. It's always micro a little bit in the beginning, just to get as much land as you can. Mm, for this case, I'm also gonna send the Rommel troops. I just fucked the pronunciation both ways. I went neither English nor German there. There we go. Britain is gone. Then let's justify on Belgium. No, they are retaking the British Isles. Oh my god. There's invasions everywhere. I'm just gonna annex all of it, honestly. Like, that's that's what I would do. I was thinking if it's better for the AI to not do it, but that's definitely something that I would do if I were to play in this position. And as you can see, our resources are, uh, they are no longer a problem. There we go, we can invite Romania, and then we can integrate war economies. It's not a perfect support. Yeah, I know why it's not a perfect support tank, because it's not a support tank. And that's the part that's very scary, because these divisions, these infantry divisions, are absolute beasts. Wait, I only got claims? I didn't get cores on the state and land. I guess it makes sense if they resist. I'm just baffled that they do resist. The 1st January 1939, we have 311 factories. We have all of the allies under our boot. Way too many resources, 3 million manpower on extensive conscription. And now we are going to switch over to Zove. All right, someone sent me this disaster save where they played the Soviet Union and uh, apparently the AI axis Germany has gotten very strong. And it's a bit strange. They don't have the Sudetenland, they don't have Luxembourg, but they kept the allies already. Let's see, what has this player done? 
Okay, we we are almost done with the purges. Uh, they invested a little bit into the navy, which I will say I do not plan on going there. So let's just cancel this. We do have a little bit of development here. We do have the national specialists. Yep, I'm happy to see that. Disagree with the Cossack units as well as the Japanese tree. That's kind of a waste. Honestly, could be worse. And we get oil right now yeah that's we do need oil definitely we have 150 factories right now uh, wait do, do we have uh, do we have timoshenko yet yes we have timoshenko okay i think we will get um grand battle plan because we will need to defend a lot here let's see what's our infantry template free really looking like that's ambitious certainly we can build that but i don't see why we should i think we're better off with this I might not get support RT for a long while, depending on how this goes. Get the horse cavalry, oh, for free. Oh, don't tell me. Why do you like horses so much? Wait, wait is Stalin canonically a crazy horse girl? Oh wait, uh, research, research is very important. What are we looking, okay, that's decent. Oh my God, I am land leasing, stop, please. I think I'm just gonna say no to the political tree for once. I do definitely want the Academy of Sciences. Like, that's an additional research slot. And 1% research speed. Hmm? The 1% research speed is the deciding factor. I don't think we really need this guy. I can keep him, but we also lose 20 command power from it. I'm gonna sh start shooting Trotsky here. I want to get rid of the stab debuff. There we go. I'm not going to make more than this for our support tanks. Because industry, that's kind of a thing, you know, that exists. I don't think it does in this Oh game. my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you not going for Poland? It's 1940. There's no threat in here. Whatever. Ah, okay, they are justifying. Venezuela joined the Axis and Trotsky is gone, which means we finally have stability and PP again. Yeah, I think, yeah, we only got this one. I don't think we got the uh, ribbon drop. That sucks for me. Oh my god, thank you very much. <laughs> really just did it at the last possible second. Oh, yes, because I puppeted Romania and Hungary, I have one front line. I could just play the game. Oh! 10,000 trucks. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't wanna. Please, we can talk about this. We can talk about this, Hitler. Put away your airports. We can talk about this. Look at this front line. The scary thing is not that I have so many troops here. The scary thing is that I know that the troops that they have are insanely strong. Oh, they are going to run me over. I. I <laughs> they. They have way too much stuff. There's 20 divisions in this one tile. God damn it. God damn it. Just let me cheat, Hearts of Iron. Oh, look at that. How, how could that have happened? The US went down the communist tree and uh, joined me without a civil war. Okay, I'm gonna try and make something weird here. There's two things we can do. We can try and hold river lines, or the thing that I'm gonna do is use these as backup troops and then shuffle them in when we need them. Yep, you're all trained enough for me. Just gonna plonk you down here. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a little bit micro heavy, but it does look mostly okay. Oh no, that's that's the sound that I don't want. No, why, why, why are you here? Why is Italy so cringe? Why can't it be normal? Like your brother Germany and just attack me like a normal person. Well, I guess I can naval invade there. Ooh, an infantry specialist. I like to see that. That's gonna be very helpful here. 3.5 million on service by requirement, so this is gonna take a while. The upside is this is just a meat grinder. Holding is relatively simple now because it's just so, there are so many troops stacked here. Oh, that's actually pretty good for me. I thought they would handle this much better. They have 106 factories on guns, which doesn't really add up with the UI. Apparently they have 106 factories on guns and they're still losing, net losing, 2.1 thousand a day. I can afford pumping out some more divisions here. Oh, let's just fill up the ones that we lost. More troops for the front line. 
for the meat grinder. Oh boy, it's just so much micro. I do think this is doable. It's just gonna be very grindy until the Germans have no manpower anymore or they somehow ran out of industry, which I don't see why they are not producing more guns. Oh my God, we are, we're holding everywhere a screen, except for here where we were attacking. Ooh, and there's a little bit of strength missing in those divisions. I think the Germans have, oh God. Japan, I don't, I, come on. I just, just the, the US is in my faction. We, 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 we're cool, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool, Japan, we're cool, we're cool. That is what I like to see. Like the front lines are stabilized now. We just have to shuffle in single troops every now and then. Still too much for my liking. To turn this into a chill game, but this is very nice now. Yeah, okay, let's just count our losses here. Losing a single tile here and there is not too bad. We are the Soviet Union after all. Wait, any controlled state is a core of Soviet Union. They only pushed into Poland and they lost 3.5 million to me. <laughs> you only pushed into Poland? True, that's only Poland here. I was like, yeah, okay, they, they pushed into parts of Ukraine and Belarus already. I mean, they ha have pushed into Belarus, but they have not taken a single core state. So that's very cool. Wow, they have stopped. We're at 0% <laughs> surrender progress and the Germans have stopped attacking. <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. The pride of the Russian army force. Who am I gonna get rubber from? I can't get rubber from I mean, anybody. Oh my god. I will have to build rubber factories. Are you serious? Right, so let's go back. Do the same thing again. Okay. Japan joins against the Axis. We don't really need it, if we're being honest. Like, we held now. We've survived the main onslaught. Now Germany is out of manpower. C3I. Whatever that means. Sounds like some weird fetish thing. I mean, it's lead speech for that. <laughs> They went to all adult surf. They finally have the war support for that, which means their industry is gonna suffer and they will get another 10 million to throw on the front lines. There won't be a single German left once we're done. All right, I also could have gotten total mob the entire fucking time. That's cool. That's definitely, oh my God. Yeah, you know, I, I was sick an entire week. I wanted to edit videos or just record something and I couldn't. So I just forgot every single thing about Hearts of Iron that I learned, which isn't a whole lot, you know, like when you play Hearts of Iron, it's more like you unlearn certain things you have, brain cells, but hey, it's a lot of green arrows, so it's all worth it. And I mean, five million Germans for one million Soviets without any planes on my side, while the enemy has air. That's, that's, that tickles me, especially because they do have proper divisions. I'm also surprised that they're not really bombing me. I kind of expect my supply fulfillment to just plummet. Oh no, they finally took something. I guess we might as well use Sweep Scum out. It's cheap, we won't be able to use it as much and well, it's gonna help us hold. And they're just, just look at the manpower drop. <laughs> this is so fun, man. Oh right, Timoshenko. We don't need you anymore, haha. <laughs> 10 million Germans. 10 million Germans for 1.5 million Soviets. And you're still just pushing. I guess they have to push until I, before I get planes, you know? Because once I have planes, this, these numbers are gonna change drastically. Okay, how's America looking? Still kind of just twiddling away at that. Still haven't defeated, uh, freed Mexico and still Canada exists. What about Asia? Japan is still just doing things. I guess they're winning. I just love how I'm still on extensive conscription with 4.4 million in stockpile and the, the Germans are just on all adult serve and potentially running out of all adult serve. Oh god, <laughs> nobody is ever gonna use the Black Sea again. Still attacking me here, I see. I don't know why you try. The Italian AI has one goal. Take this one stupid island, I don't know why. It's not part of the Roman Empire, although I am. Or I am this further Rome. Fourth, depending on who you ask. Right, let's see what's what's happened. What's gonna happen here? Probably gonna take a lot of damage here. Especially because they're still green. I know the ciphers give us bonuses, but I never knew they displayed them here as well. Ooh, adaptable. Ooh, adaptable. Ooh, adaptable. 
I think that's only for planes that the level is not static. Like, depending on how much progress you have, you get different debuffs. That's kind of cool. Oh, I just got green air. Oh, green air, Desu. Oh, we destroyed 10k already. We've just our 1000, because that is only the fighters. AA does not count towards this. We're gonna be here a little bit longer. 20 million, and you're still attacking. If this continues, you won't even have old people anymore to send to the front line. And you've not even pushed into Ukraine and Belarus. A bit late for the end of the League of Nations, don't you fucking think? Turkey declared war on German Romania? I don't like that at all. Turkey. It's not even a about inviting them into this. God damn it, they're on my enemy now, technically. Like, the biggest problem is they're not gonna be able to hold against the Germans. Mm, they might be able to hold against the Germans because the Germans are already that weak. But if they get pushed in, then that means I have another front line to manage. Congratulations, Stalin. You are an atrocious leader, but you're the only one I have, unless I promote someone. Might as well use him. He's so happy that he finally can lead an army. Zero manpower, huh? They deployed manpower. They deleted one million divisions. 100 divisions. Planes are also de getting depleted. We can make some small pushes here just to deal damage. Like, not even to take stuff, just to deal damage. This is gonna hurt, probably, but I just wanna see. Okay, let's make a small push here. Oh, stop training, please. I don't know how many troops they're gonna send in here. Ah, uh, we're actually pushing here. The Romanian line was just very cool to hold with the river. German and Romania is gone? Yes. Socialist Republic of Bulgaria? Yes. I don't really like that. But I mean, that makes Bulgaria weaker and right now I just want to end this game so I can eat something because I am hungry. <laughs> I can just feel how my energy while commentating is draining. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I thought. This is gonna be expensive. I think I'm gonna hold a little bit now. It's just without cast. This is just way too expensive. And it's not safe yet for my cast to come out. Sure. Just take those boys out. Portugal joins the Axis. Portugal is a major. It's also crazy that they just attack Bulgaria. They retake Bulgaria, but they've not invaded me once, navally. Apart from that stupid island. Am I getting there? Yes. They're all gone. This is gonna be a very small encirclement. I'd rather take this than overextending. What are your planes looking like? Still over 1k. Honestly, I think I can start chucking out some cars. The Sturmovik. Oh, yeah. Mussolini, can you stop being cringe for one minute, please? Challenge impossible, I know. Just because you have men to throw away doesn't mean you have to throw them away. I know Hitler is someone you look up to, but come the fuck on, man. Don't have to copy everything he does. Tell the truth defending at least, because I'm too lazy for it. And it's also, at the end of the day, it's also just free manpower that they throw away. Mussolini. It's just in Bulgaria, I don't get it. They can attack everywhere else, but they only do it here. Still no manpower. Six million and almost no planes anymore. Okay, things are gonna get spicy very quickly now. How many planes did I destroy? 40,000 German planes. Okay, that's another stack of Germans. 5.84 deployed. Another 300k gone. There we go, we got it. We can stop pinning. Hopefully, we can hold this. End this game. <laughs> this is so fucking ridiculous. Wait, I legitimately pushed them. I only wanted to pin them. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna make a snack myself. Change of plans. I don't have any snacks that I can make. I'm just gonna eat fucking carrots, man. Should have bought food instead of. Instead of playing Hall 4. But the content must flow. Let's go. We took the supply hub. I wonder if Romania is gonna refuse me taking Bessarabia. What? I don't think you have the right to refuse me. That was only 350k. I honestly want to know how many troops Italy lost due to naval invasions. Well, let's send an ultimatum to Latvia. We get full control of Riga, that would be kind of cool. Puppet. It's useless. 27 million Germans. 3 million will survive the Second World War. The rest will be dead. Oh cool, a place that does not exist. It's only a place in the mind. Hello Spain, welcome to the Second World War. I hope you had a nice nap. Netherlands are gone. It, uh, yeah, the Netherlands. I was like, Niederlande? Niederlande, why is 
The Netherlands are not Norway. I know that. I know my geography. I am not American. <laughs> I get it. Americans dumb. <laughs> ah, my favorite joke. What is logistics? Ah, okay, logistics is fine. I mean, we still have manpower, so. It's costly to push, but it doesn't matter if the Germans fall. Wait, my war goal is gone? No winter war. Germany is gone. Ah, oh, these front lines are gonna be a mess now. Oh, I don't. Can I just. Can I just end the game now? Like, I've won. I think this kind of speaks to how bored I am with this game right now, that I'm pressuring Sweden to become a communist nation. Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Everybody che just cheats me here. Nobody wants to be my real friend and just be eaten by me. No, they just want to be puppets or allies. They don't even join against the Germans. That's... Yes, thank you. Why did I invite you to my faction? I didn't even invite you to my faction, you just invited yourself. Thank you. At least they joined now. Uh, sure, let's just make a front line here. Oh, we actually pushed through Italy already. <laughs> and we still... Okay, the Balkans are only holding this, I don't have a front line there. Um, is there anything... Who do I have to kill? Hungary. Okay. You just got 12 mill factories here? I have 1,700 factories? What? That doesn't... No, I have 900. What are you talking about? On second thought, the 800 factories that we are missing might be ones that we occupy, but we can't access them due to compliance. But that would mean mainland Europe has over 1,000 factories since we already get 250 from occupation. Either way, that's my best guess. I will keep the territory. I don't care anymore. I am done with this game. Of oh, Spain. Thank fuck, it was just Valencia. That leaves only Romania. Yeah, Bulgaria. 61,000 enemy planes. Come on, Portugal. Just Portugal. Come on. Wait, what? Oh, frontline attack now. All end attack. Stop, stop, stop. Just all the VPs. If we don't even need to win, we just need to cap Bulgaria. That's my only desire right now. That's it. 9.6 thousand points. 9.6. Oh god. 22 thousand points for Germany. There we go. Take the entire world. You don't even have to contest me. It does not matter. Okay, maybe it matters. 463 states annexed. The entire axis and allies except for the US. And we even retook Alaska twice. Well, I guess we cannot invite Sweden into our faction. Uh, I mean, Sweden into the... the we cannot annex Sweden. Oh, this is... Uh, I, I, yes, you can defeat yourself in Hulls of Iron. And I think the first time you do it is by booting up the game.